Hello guys, Best Rugby here. This is Pro 14 Weekly, the show where we round up the action from the Pro 14 on the weekend. We're going to focus on one game in particular this week, and we're going to round up the other results. So if you do enjoy, like, subscribe. And first of all, we're going to start with Edinburgh against the Cheetahs, which is our focus game this week. Edinburgh won 37-21 against the Cheetahs, and Edinburgh in the first half were brilliant, and the Cheetahs were lacking quite a lot in quality and discipline. But Edinburgh got off on a great start, scored a try through two lists, and just crashing over from barely a metre after some good play from Edinburgh. But Cheetahs did bounce back, and one player who stood out throughout this game for the Cheetahs was Max Swane, who is a former Sevens player for South Africa. Great feet, powerful, quick, direct, and you can see he's played Sevens because he wants to attack all the time. A great player, and he got through from his own half, ran through, beat three or four defenders, thought he was going to score, tackled right before the try line, but popped it up to Nico Lee, who crashed over to get it back to seven all. But Edinburgh's dominance began to show and fruits began to be produced from their good work. Some great tries coming through and the Cheetahs' defence was abysmal. Poor play, easy ball across, 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 Kinghorn all the way out to Gray. Graham in the corner and Edinburgh are leading once again. And just before the half, another try for them and they lead 20 points to 7 at half time. Now at half time I was thinking what could the score potentially be, it could be something ridiculous. But it was as if both teams swapped shirts at half time as the Cheetahs came out firing. Getting rid of those errors, simple things like in the first half they couldn't put three and four to four passes together, but in the second half they were producing some great attacking rugby. And they came out of the blogs and they managed to get a score through Maxwane once again, a great try from him crashing over Henry Pergos to get the Cheetahs into the lead for the first time in the match. But again Edinburgh came back as you would expect them to do. And this time, Mata crashing over and getting the score. And what a game he had. We're going to look at him a little bit more in just a second. But Edinburgh, again, got a few more tries. I'm not going to go into details about them. If you want to go check out the highlights, you can. They will be on the Pro 14 uh, YouTube channel, so you can go and check them out. But uh, Edinburgh, on the whole, a great performance after that little blip for 10 minutes or so in the second half. Now before the game the coach has said that they wanted to aim to get two bonus points from last week's game against Benetton and this week's game against the Cheetahs. And the downfall of the Cheetahs really has got to be their defence, 100% has got to be their defence. They've conceded 190 points in their last five matches which is an average of 40 points a match. Which at this level you just cannot do, you're not going to be winning games if you're conceding that many points in a game. The Cheetahs did try to come back in the latter stages of the match, but Jamie Ritchie crossed over for Edinburgh, and it was just little, too little, too late from the Cheetahs. Now, my man of the match has got to be Bill Matto, the Fijian. What a game he had last week! 28 carries against Benetton. This team, this year, this week, sorry, 20 carries, and you have got to be thinking about. Um, his style is very similar to the likes of Falatau. Very happy with the ball in hand. Powerful, quick, yes, but can score tries. And he got two tries this weekend. And what I loved about him was his eagerness to go forward. He got the ball at the base of the scrum or at the base of a mall, and he would go for it. And he had good feet, really good feet for a number eight. And rightly so, he got the Man of the Match award. So what were the other results on the Friday games? Well, there were two of the games taking place and it was the main rivals of Edinburgh taking on a Zebra, that's Glasgow, and they won 36-8 at Scotston. They got some great tries there, cemented their place on top of conference, say they will go into the European games with big confidence. In the other game, Ulster lost their second game on the bounce and their second against an Irish province. They lost against Connacht 22-15. It's the first time that Connacht have won at Ulster in over 58 years. A big decision was made where Marcel Goodsayer was sinning for a dangerous tackle. So there you go, Edinburgh win, Glasgow win and Connacht win. It's now time to look at the Saturday fixtures.
There's some massive games on the Saturday in the Pro 14. First of all, let's start with Leinster against Munster. Leinster won 30. 22 at the Aviva Stadium with over 50,000 people watching. That means Leinster now go top by six points. James Lowe got two tries for Leinster in that one. Then there were two massive derbies in Wales. They feature in the Welsh Rugby Show. Link in the description. Check it out on the i button. And in those two games, Scarlets first of all beat the Ospreys in a fantastic matchup. Hauke Scarlets winning 20 points to 17. Again, go check that out on the Welsh Rugby Show. And then the Blues beat Dragons 23-15. And I'll tell you, there were some surprises at the start of that match. But if you want to know more, again, check the Welsh Rugby Show. And finally, the final game of the weekend, Benetton beat the Southern Kings 28-5 and Benetton now have lost that horrible tag of three losses on the bounce. They finally have a win. So there you go. That's the Pro 14 weekly show for this week. There won't be one next week, of course, because we got European games. So there'll be a preview show for that next Friday out on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Take it easy. Peace.